Hi friends, now we're going to talk about how we can use the substring operation. Uh, whenever I think of substring operation, it's always uh, sometimes we have to get, because lots of times the date uh, field that we get is in uh, eight character and then we need to put, you know, put a dot or a slash to make it more beautiful and pretty. So you use the substring function for those but you can use it now for a bunch of other stuff so this is the piece of code that we are going to use okay and uh, and here is you can see this is the piece of code that is being used let me see i think uh, i made this uh, thing a little smaller let me see options and the icons well the icons are fine okay so let me see so let me see probably if I do control and I, I drag it up, up, it doesn't go. Okay, oops, I think it does. Okay, so here you can see this is the piece of code that is there. So I'll put a I'll put a breakpoint here. Okay, and here you can see first thing we are going to do is we are going to check the substring and uh, which will probably give CD the answer. Let's let's debug and we'll find it. Oops, that's a problem. When I'm just clicking it, it becomes smaller. Okay, so let me execute. Let's get into this and I put substring and I execute. It stopped in the the previous breakpoint now it stopped here and now we will just see so i'll just hit so the first one oops see, i think there's a problem with my keyboard but that's fine so we can see i'll click on the result the first one if you see gives me cd the second one which is very interesting is substring substring form so that means it will give me C D E F G H. Okay. So here now it's C D E F G H. The the next one is oops, will give me after which will give me E F G H. If you if you notice this is the place where the where the it's getting executed. So I'm doing F5 here, E F G H. Then support this one will probably give me A B that's right and this one will give me ABC oops let me see I went a little far yes that that one was giving ABC so in this way it's, it's very useful this substring before after two because in that way you can find things okay and you can match it up and find some stuffs that you can do so that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a nice day. And if you like it, please subscribe to this channel because there's videos coming every day and very essential. Thank you and have a good day.